All right, guys, so here's the Saturn IV Ultra here. And what I'm going to show you is what happened. So a while back, I printed this bracket for the build plate. Basically, the bracket allows me to detach the build plate and prop it at a 45 degree angle to allow the resin to drain back into the vat. And then after I'm done with it, I usually will clean off the build plate here and leave it at the 45 degree angle. Lesson learned on that because I went to do another print and forgot to check the build plate orientation and it crashed right into the vat here. Luckily, it did not cause any damage to the LCD screen. And this is the Saturn IV Ultra with a 12K screen. And it's about a hundred bucks for the new screen. Didn't cause any damage to the bed or anything like that. So, but what it did do was poked a hole right through the bottom of the vat here, right through the PFA release. So it actually creased it right here and punched it through. Now, as I said, I did a check on the LCD here. And uh, I did a check on the LCD. LCD is fine. It printed fine afterwards. But then when I took the vat out to clean it out, I noticed that there was resin on the LCD screen that had to be cleaned off. So today we're going to uh, remove all of these here and replace this PFA film. So for this job, what we're going to need is two Allen wrenches that will fit the two different size uh, hex here. And then we're also going to need um, PFA release liner film. Um, I bought this on Amazon for about 17 bucks for a three pack. I'll leave the link down in the description there, but I figure this is the best stuff to use considering the fact that this is an Elegoo printer. So what I'm going to do is take off the old release li liner and there is a a total of 12 of these bolts here that come out. Now, if you're doing this for cleaning, you want to take care to not damage the PFA liner. It's super thin. It's only about uh, 1.25 mil. I'm sorry, 0.125 mil. So very, very thin release liner. All right, I got all these loosened. Just gonna remove them now. All right, with the 12 of these out, we're gonna use the larger of the hex to bring out the four here. Now these four are what provides tension to the rest of the PFA liner on here. And when you see, when I get the uh, vat taken apart here, you'll see that this actually comes apart as its own little clamshell tray. All right, so there's the bat container here. I'm just gonna set this off to the side here. And then we're gonna focus on the bottom of the tray here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 26, 28 of these hex bolts on this side. Now, I've already gone through and cured the resin that was on this PFA liner, so this is all, all dry. So we're gonna take the piece apart here. This is a two-piece design here. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but. Now this film's not too old. It's probably got about two to three hundred hours on it. 
and it was still in relatively good condition. I think these are good for about 30 to 40,000 layers. And I wasn't even nearly half that when I drove my bed through the PFAA film. So we're going to take our putty knife, I'm going to separate the two pieces. So basically all it is, two of these identical pieces, and then the PFA FET film actually has holes all around it that secured into place. So this one's trash, and like, like I said, as you can see here, there's a hole right there by my finger. Hard to see on that side, but this side's more prominent, but yeah. That's where the bed crashed into the LCD. All right. So we're gonna use a PFA release liner film from Elegoo. I'm gonna have a link down in the description for this. Pretty inexpensive and uh, it's a direct replacement. So this way I'm not dealing with subpar. And then, all right, let's see what we got in here. Fancy. Grab one of the sheets here. You'll see this pack has three of them in it. So there's one, two, three. So I'm gonna grab one of these, set it off to the side. Now, it has a protective film on each side of it. So there's one here that's a clear protective film. And then there's a, another that is the blue protective film on the back here. Okay. So we're basically going to measure it up here. So before we put this on, I'm going to show you guys the orientation here. So you're going to see that this side is not beveled where the holes are for the screws. And this side is beveled here. So this is going to be the top side. And you'll see also that this matches that as well, where this side is beveled and this side is not, but you'll see that this side has more screw holes. So this is the bottom that actually faces the LCD, and this is the top that actually goes back into the vat. So what I'm gonna do is uh, clean this up a little bit, and I just gonna use some IPA on here to get any excess resin or residue that's on the bracket here off of there. Just clean it up really good. Don't want any foreign material in there. Perfect. So that's that side. That's the top. And the bottom side as well. Now, what Elegoo recommends is to use a block of foam, a five millimeter block of foam on here. But I have these mailing envelopes that I mail out some of my smaller prints with. So what I do is I'm gonna use this to actually set this to give it a little bit of space. This is going to be that space that I pointed out earlier. So I'm gonna peel off the protective film off the PFA liner and peel off the blue side as well. We're going to center it over as much as we can here. Line up the holes. Make sure everything's lined up. You're gonna have a little bit of an overlap here, which is fine, no big deal. And we're gonna take our small screws with our two millimeter hex, starting in the 
top left, we're just going to go right through the PFA into the threads. We're going to put in the top left first. top right next. Again, making sure that your holes are lining up before you push through the PFA. Bottom right. And you're gonna see it crinkle right here just a little bit, that's okay. When it stretches over the bottom of the vat, it's going to stretch and create a perfect Now the process is easy. We're just going to go all the way back around following clockwise orientation here once we have the PFA on. And we're gonna follow all the way around the outside. remove my spacer there and then starting with the corner here that I put the initial one in I'm just gonna go all the way around and we're gonna tighten those all up all right so now we got these all tightened down next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a knife and we're just gonna trim all up along the side of the frame here and we're going to take all of this off of here so let me grab my knife all right here we go got the excess off of there i'm going to bring our bat back give it a little spray real quick Clean off the mating surface here. And then we're going to position it with these bolts that we just installed. Facing down. Now we're going to use these bolts here. And we're going to tighten them. in a crisscross pattern. Starting with the initial corner that you started with, we're gonna do one turn a piece. Crisscross. And this ensures that the film is evenly stretched across the entire vat. Last ones, we're gonna poke through. Also going to do a crisscross order on this, starting from the bottom left. Top right. And 
And again, this ensures an even stretch of the entire PFA film. like a drum. Perfect. Brand new PFA liner on the resin vat here. So we're going to go install this on the printer now. All right, back over at the Saturn IV. Line the vat up, thumb screws in. And build plate in. We're ready for our next batch. We're gonna give it a quick wipe down inside. And we're all ready for the next batch. All right, so I'm gonna use my trusty ABS 3.0 photopolymer resin in gray. This is from Elegoo. Link down in the description for that. And we're gonna do some printing. So, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.